Hey, hey, good morning guys, how are you guys doing? Or maybe good night for you. <laughs> okay, going good evening to anyone and to YouTubers. Okay, okay. today we're gonna um, solve Mac 330 CV1 MATLAB, Vibration Modeling Lab. Okay, first and foremost, you guys need feinfo.pdf. That you're gonna show us you this is really important for task number three and CV lab sheet number one, task one, task two, and task three. We're gonna do it within ten minutes. I promise. <laughs> no, <I'm> joking. <laughs> we try to do it within ten minutes as quickly as we could. Okay, first, uh, you guys must download the file that I'm gonna give you right at the bottom in the YouTube video. It calls CV1.m. Okay, basically what, what CV do, CV1.m does is this is a summary for task 1, task 2, and task 3 and you just like copy and paste and run uh, yeah, pretty much that's all okay, let's do it again okay, first, task number 1 what does it say is plot the mode shapes on a single graph okay uh, Okay, this is the E row B T L. We just put it here and M num. We want M num first, so choose this and press F nine. F nine is basically it's like copy and paste, but it's like pretty much like a quick button. And voila, you got mode number one, shape and positions. And the task one say you need to put all the graph into a single graph. What you could do is hold all. F9 and press F9 again for this one. Wow, you got a really beautiful graph, a very colorful one. Mode 4, mode 1, mode 4, mode 3, mode 2, and mode 1 in a single graph. And yeah, save it. You already save it, so you guys could save it if you want. Yeah, you must, <laughs> you must save it. Okay, let's go task number 2. It's made of FRF. And what it uh, they say use the function to generate FRF for the beam in the frequency range of 0 to 100 hertz okay bear with me a minute it's right here I'm gonna explain to you like a quick way of my summary so this is okay this is natural frequency this is KN, Zang, and Pfeffer and this is the frequency that we're gonna generate it says uh, generate frequency between 0 and 100 so this is the line that we're gonna generate 0 to 100 with 0 0.01 spacing so this is the M, V and Z and Z and 0 0.01, 0 0.01, 0 0.01, 0 0.01 this is like a, it have one row and four columns it's like a matrix but in a way that the MATLAB does okay mm, yeah and then we just run run this press F9 BAM we got a really beautiful graph hold all because we want to combine all four graph into single graph oh wait okay oh just like from here you just press F9 you could do that as well and because we want to make this is FRF and this is frequency 0 to 100 yeah this is already 0 to 100 in log scale okay what is log log means is it is log on this scale and log on this scale if you put semi log x it's just gonna make semi log x on here and normal on here log log 0 to 100 on log this log as well okay if you wanna change the graph you could also do, do it manually by double clicking this and what well, oh here put x axis as frequency let's just make it like really quick and on the way i say is frf frf is basically is like frequency response it's like an amplitude but in a different way frequency amplitude divided by f frequency is equal to frf okay close it i think we're done task number two let's go number task number three Okay, task number C is to is basically diff almost different than task two and task one because task two and task one 
uh, the apparatus you guys are using are uh, simulating the ruler and for touch 3 you're simulating a ring okay there's a four types of vibration mode in plane flexure out plane flexure and torsion extension okay let's go to this one S this is in plane flexure in plane flexure in plane flexure this out 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 so okay the green one is out Re try to remember that the normal one is in in this table there's no torsion extension because uh, to generate torsion extension you need really really high natural frequency okay we just like that's on master level not really on master level that's pretty hard to do it but we could calculate on this software my lab software that we're gonna use okay let's do it for m type 1 okay I'll uh, try to remember this one in is equal to type 1 type 1 type 1 type 1 type 1 type 1 this green, green little thingy is type 2, type 2, type 2, type 2, type 2. Okay, we try to find... Okay, what this does number means is it is natural frequency for mode type number 1, 37.16 developed by FE, developed by ANSYS, basically. Okay, we, we try to find natural frequency that is developed using, try to simulate using MATLAB. I hope you guys understand what I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, let's try to simulate mode type one for number one. Okay, press F9. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Wait. Uh, I forget to uh, forget to show you that we need to. Uh, basically, we want to plot alpha, U Z. What USAC is USAC basically let me try to find okay USAC basically is like an axial deformation of the ring for in there's no axial for for type number one there's no axial deformation for two there's an axial deformation for type one there is radial and torsional for type two there's no radial and torsional okay try to remember radial and torsional this one only have axial Okay, uh, because we want to find U R. Okay, so voila, you got U R on here, and uh, this is alpha. Uh, this is your angle basically, and try to simulate that U T for your torsional. Bam. Okay, we got that. Okay, well, just remember that I say for type number one, there's no U Z which the axial. Okay, if you try to do that, it's gonna power I zero because there's no axial deformation in mode shape number one. Okay, uh, we move. Okay, for example, we want to make uh here we want to simulate this. Okay, uh, first we need to change. Okay, this is type number two. Uh, this number is 1, 2, so it's number 2 from the top. Okay, we because type number 2 has only axial deformation, we probably use uh, okay, F9. Bam, we got a graph, we've done it. And uh, hold all. I can't remember why they did this. Okay, guys, I think pretty much that's all. Uh, give me a second. Try to think. What's the last line for? Oh, okay. Uh, after you've done everything, you. Uh, okay, they ask you to make a table of a. In a gra to make a table in the Excel which shows the type of vibration modes, type from 1, MAT, MATLAB, FEA. FEA is this this thing this number for natural frequency uh, they ask you to find the MATLAB natural frequency number for time 1 and time number 2 okay we got FEA for time number type 1 and type number 2 as well and the question is how to find this number from task number 3 okay so okay we have okay for example type number 2 and 
m num type number two, which is this one. You have done the graph, but you need to find 